Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and in this laboratory, we're going to look at electromagnetic waves. Okay, so specifically, I want to look at infrared. Okay, so infrared is right below the visible range in terms of the frequency, and so it has a longer wavelength. And it actually is something that is, is harmless, and it exists within uh, many applications in our daily lives, specifically the remote control, okay? <laughs> and what's neat about it is that you can actually, you can't see infrared with, the, with your eye. So it's like the first thing where it's like, it's invisible and we don't see it, but we can detect it with with a phone, okay? And so what I wanna do is I just wanna show like, um, this is like a really cool, <laughs> a really cool thing you can do when you're trying to figure out if, if there's infrared or not. And so here's a, here's a remote, I just grabbed this, it was for like a, a monitor that was outside my office. And notice that when I look into this thing right here, it's like there's the little, you know, where it shoots out stuff. And if I go ahead and press the button, do you notice that it gets purple? And it's kind of hard to see because it's like focusing. Take your smartphone and now you can, I'll get a better picture of it. So I've got my smartphone in there and it's a little clear and I'm gonna hit the button and notice that it turns purple. Okay, so notice that it turns purple. You see that? And so it's one of the first times that you can actually see infrared. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer here. So there's my phone and then here's the thing and it's focusing. It's like, oh, the baby, look at that, look at that, infrared. <laughs> and so it's kind of cool because what happens is it's it's actually saturating the uh, sensor pixels in your phone when you hit it with infrared. So it lights up all you know red, green, and blue in there. But that's pretty sweet, right? I mean, you can actually see that it's there. And when you do it in here, I am trying to do it in a camera, and you can kind of see it there. And so anyway, that's, that's kind of just a cool way to show that it exists. And you might be wondering, like, what is that thing that's in there that's shooting off that infrared? And it turns out it is nothing more than an infrared diode. And so here is an example of an infrared diode. And so if I look at this, it's just like you would expect. This is a light emitting diode, so it's an LED, but it actually emits infrared. So it's different than this guy right here, which lights up red. It actually says infrared. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on here, and I've got a resistor circuit and all that sort of stuff. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the battery, and we'll see if it lights up. And you see that light up? Okay, so watch it while I'm gonna blink it here. So blink, let's see, I'll just plug this in over, over over and I can actually see the infrared coming out of this LED diode this L infrared LED so let me put my phone on there and you can even see it more with the uh, I've got a camera of a camera here it's quite remarkable <laughs> Where is the okay there it is there it is okay so I'm moving it up there and so you can see it a lot better when I'm in my phone so on off on off on off and it's got the same properties as an LED it's just, it's basically just has a forward voltage you turn it on and it goes now one last thing that I'll say with uh, uh, remote control let me see if I can move this camera up here and make it a little bit easier when you do this from a remote control and I hit this you know you can see that it turns on and off well, one of the things that happens is if it was just like, if it was just on and if it just went off, then there would be total, tons of interference coming from all sorts of other remote controls. So imagine that everybody's got a remote control and it's they're hitting their infrared buttons and all of a sudden the TV's turning on and turning off. So what they actually do with infrared remote controls is you pulse it. So if you hook this up to like an oscilloscope or had a circuit that could actually convert this into electricity, which, which you do on your robotics kit or on robotics kits, you can actually, you can actually see the pulse train of it. And so it actually sends like a, a digital, like basically information by pulsing the uh, the infrared signal. Okay, so that's how you determine, you know, that's how it tells that it's like, oh, I'm hitting one button, I'm hitting the button seven versus eight. It sends a different like pulse chain or on off sequence to the receiver, the infrared receiver on your TV or whatever. Okay, so that's really it. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, it's just, But it's just a cool example of it's like infrared, we use it in our daily life. It exists even though we can't see it. And so we use technology in order to see it. Okay, so that is it. EM waves and see ya.